thin lens equation and magnification. In this lesson, we're talking about lens terminology, the thin lens equation, magnification, and the magnification equation. The thin lens equation. Using ray diagrams to determine the size and location of an object can be time consuming. The relationship between the location of the object, the image, and the focal length can be described mathematically using the thin lens equation. And that's this guy right there. DO is going to be the distance from the object to the lens, DI is the distance from the image to the lens, and F is the focal length. And you can see on this diagram what I was talking about. So the DO is the distance from the object to the optical center, and that's this one right there. So you can see how we measure it from the middle of the lens, not from the edge of the lens. DI is the distance from the image to the optical center. So again, we're going to measure it from the middle of the lens to the image. HO is the height of the object. That's this guy here. HI is the height of the image. F is the focal length of the lens, which is the distance from the optical center to the principal focus. So again, from the middle of the lens to the focal point. So probably the hardest thing about the thin lens equation is the signs. you got to keep them straight. So follow this sign convention to use the thin lens equation. DO is always positive. DI is positive for real images, negative for virtual images. Remember, real images are going to be made up of real light rays, whereas virtual images are going to be made up from virtual light rays, so those rays that we extend backwards. F is going to be positive for converging lenses and negative for diverging lenses. And if you recall, this is a converging lens. Check your understanding. Using the thin lens equation, find where the image is located, DI, if an object is placed 5 centimeters away from a diverging lens with a focal length of 10 centimeters. So DI is our question. DO, we know, is always positive, and it's 5 centimeters. It's a diverging lens, therefore our focal length is going to be negative 10. So I want you to pause the video, and I want you to answer this question. So now let's plug our numbers in. 1 over DO, which is 1 over 5 plus 1 over di equals 1 over negative 10, because f was negative 10. We're going to rearrange and isolate di, so we're going to say 1 over di is equal to 1 over negative 10 minus 1 over 5. Now when you plug that into your calculator, you get 1 over di is equal to negative 0 0.3. But to find what di is equal to, we need to take 1 divided by negative 0 0.3, and that gives us a di value of negative 3.33 centimeters. Check your understanding. A converging lens, so that's important, has a focal length of 17 centimeters. A candle is located 48 centimeters from the lens. So this is going to be the object. What type of image is formed and where will it be located? So let's write down what we have. DO is equal to 48 and we know it's always positive. It's a converging lens and we're told the focal length is 17, so it's positive 17. We need to know type of image, so we'll be able to figure that out with our answer, and where will it be located, so DI. So pause the video and answer this question. So we're going to plug our numbers in. 1 over DO, so 1 over 48, plus 1 over DI equals 1 over 17. 1 over DI is so equal to 1 over 17 minus 1 over 48. 1 over DI is going to equal to... 0 0.038. So di is going to equal to 1 divided by 0 0.038. And di is going to equal to 26.3 centimeters. So since we have a positive di value, it's going to be a real image. And the di we just found was 26.3 centimeters. And since it's a real image, we're going to say that it's 26.3 centimeters on the other side of the lens. Check your understanding. A diverging lens, it's going to be important, has a focal length of 29 centimeters. A virtual image of a ball is located 13 centimeters in front of the lens. Where is the ball located? So for us, where the ball is located, that's going to be our DO. So DO now is the question. We're told it's a diverging lens, so the focal length is negative 29 centimeters. And the virtual image, so DI, is going to be 13 centimeters. Now it's a diverging lens, so it's not going to be a real image, it's going to be a virtual image. Therefore, our DI is going to be negative 13. So pause the video. Plug the numbers into the formula and answer the question. Okay, so we get 1 over DO plus 1 over negative 13 equals 1 over negative 29. 1 over DO is equal to negative 1 over 29 plus 1 over 13. That gives us 1 over DO equal to 0 0.0424. And a DO value equaling to 1 divided by 0 0.0424, DO equals to 23.6 
centimeters. So the object is located 23.6 centimeters from the lens on the same side as the image. Magnification. Magnification is the size of the image represented in height compared to the size of the object represented in height. We can calculate magnification using two different equations. M is going to equal to HI over HO, and M is going to equal to negative DI over DO. Keep in mind, we can also say that HI over HO is going to be equal to negative DI over DO. So there's actually three equations we can use. Number one is M is going to equal to HI over HO. Number two is M is going to equal to negative DI over DO. And number three is HI over HO is going to equal to negative DI over DO. So three different equations that we can use to solve for magnification. The magnification equation. Magnification is dimensionless because the units cancel out. So what do we mean by that? Well, if our height is in centimeters, and our height is in centimeters, then centimeters cancels out. Our DI, again, would be in centimeters, and our DO would be in centimeters. So they would cancel out. So you can see how our magnification is going to be unitless. The sign convention is the same as before, but two additions. HI and HO are positive when measured upward from the principal axis, and negative when measured downwards. So this would be upward, and this would be downward. And number two, magnification is positive for an upright image and negative for an inverted image. Upright means same as object, whereas inverted means opposite to object. Not necessarily up or down. Keep that in mind. Check your understanding. A toy of height 8.4 centimeters is balanced in front of a converging lens. An inverted real image of height 23 centimeters is noticed on the other side of the lens. What is the magnification of the lens? So what I like to do in these situations sometimes is just quickly sketch out what we're looking at. We're told it's converging lens. We have an object that's 8.4 centimeters. We're going to get an inverted real image of height 23 centimeters on the opposite side of the lens. What is the magnification of the lens? And just doing this, this gives us an idea of what everything is going to look like. It's not perfect, and it's certainly not to scale, but it gives us an idea of what our answer should be. So I want you to pause the video, plug these numbers into the equation, and see if you can get the answer. Okay, so we have a toy of height, so that's HO, that is going to equal to 8.4 centimeters. Converging lens, an inverted real image of height 23 centimeters. So HI is 23 centimeters. And we're back to our rule number one. HO is positive when measured upwards, and HI is negative when measured downwards. So this will be negative, since we get an inverted image. And we're looking for magnification. We're going to use this equation here. So we're going to say that M is going to equal to HI, which is negative 23, over HO, which is 8.4. Negative 23 divided by 8.4 equals to negative 2.74 without units. And that makes sense. Remember our rule number two, magnification is positive for an upright image and negative for an inverted image. This is an inverted image because it's opposite to the object. So our magnification needs to be negative. It is, so we're happy with that. To finish it off, we're going to put it to two significant digits. So negative 2.7. Check your understanding. A small block is placed 7.2 centimeters in front of a lens. An upright virtual image of magnification 3.2 is noticed. Where is the image located? So let's write down what we have. So we know that the DO is 7.2. We get an upright virtual image magnification of positive 3.2. Where is the image located? That's DI. We're going to use this equation here. We're going to say that M is going to equal to negative DI over DO. 3.2 is going to equal to negative DI over 7.2. And multiply both sides of the equation by 7.2. It's going to eliminate it on the right-hand side. And we're left with negative di is going to equal to 3.2 times 7.2. Negative di is going to equal to 23.04. We're going to divide both sides by negative 1. We're going to get a di value equaling negative 23.04 centimeters. So our final answer becomes negative 23.04 centimeters, and it's going to be on the, the same side as the object. So di equals negative 23.04 centimeters on the same side as the object. A coin of height 2.4 centimeters is placed in front of a diverging lens. An upright virtual image of height 1.7 centimeters is noticed on the same side of the lens as the coin. What is the magnification of the lens? So I want you to pause the video and try this question on your own. So the height of the coin, so HO, is 2.4 centimeters. It's a diverging lens, so that's going to be important. We get an upright virtual image of height 1.7 centimeters is noticed on the same side as the coin. So HI is 1.7 centimeters. What is the magnification? 
that's the question. M is going to equal to HI over HO. HI is 1.7. HO is 2.4. 1.7 divided by 2.4 is equal to 0 0.71. And that makes sense. The image is smaller than the object. Therefore, we're going to get a magnification less than 1. Now, magnification works both ways. So we've seen questions where a magnification results in an image larger and ones that are smaller. We might want a magnification that's bigger, for instance, when we're looking at really small things like bacteria. And we want to make things smaller sometimes when we want to see a larger field of view, like in a side view mirror, or one of those mirrors that you see in a parking lot when you're trying to see around a corner. And if you want to make the field of view larger on the same size object, you need to make those objects inside smaller, so you can fit more of them on the object that you're looking at. Okay, last question. Check your understanding. By putting objects very close to a converging lens, it's going to be important, the image will be much larger than the object. Using the thin lens and magnification equations, find the magnification of an object that is 2 centimeters away from a converging lens with a focal length of 3.5 centimeters. If the original object is 2 millimeters tall, how large will the image be in millimeters? So pause the video and try this question. Keeping in mind you're going to need to utilize both thin lens and magnification equations. Okay, so let's write down what we have. We know it's a converging lens. We know the DO is 2 centimeters. We know the focal length, and it's a converging lens, so it's going to be positive is 3.5 centimeters. We know the HO is two millimeters and we're looking for the HI. So in situations like this, what I like to do typically is write down all the information, plug that information into my formulas and see what's missing. So I'll start with the thin lens equation. We get one over DO is two plus one over DI. We don't have DI equals one over 3.5. For the magnification equation, we don't know magnification. HI is our question. HO is two millimeters. DI, we don't know, negative DI. And DO, we're told is two centimeters. So now we know quite a bit of information. What can we solve on the thin lens equation on the left-hand side? Well, we can solve for DI. Once we have DI, then we can continue with the question. So let's isolate DI. One over DI is going to equal to one over 3.5 minus one over two. One over DI is going to equal to negative 0.21. So that's going to give us a di of 1 divided by 0 0.21 negative, which equals to negative 4.7 centimeters. Now what we can do is we can plug that negative 4.7 centimeters into this equation here, and then we can solve for magnification. So let's try that. Magnification is going to equal to negative, negative 4.7. Don't forget the double negative. The negative is built into the equation right here, and you also have a negative di value. So don't forget the double negative. Divided by 2. They're both in centimeters. So what you get is 2.35. Now what we can do is we can plug that into M. We can say that M is going to equal to 2.35 equals HI over 2. We're going to multiply both sides by 2. And you're going to get an HI equaling to 4.7 millimeters. And that's our final answer. And that concludes our lesson on thin lens equation and magnification.